For 36 years, Neighbours has been Australia's longest running TV drama, loved by generations of viewers, projecting a wholesome image of Australian suburbia to the world. Yeah, we should make ourselves scarce. Yeah, well, I'll walk you home if you like. But for some actors from culturally diverse backgrounds, it's been a vastly different experience. You go into a level of, did I just hear that? Did they say that right? Surely, no. Something isn't working behind the scenes. It's not an isolated incident. They've got us by the balls. If you speak up, how do we know that we're ever going to be employed again? Earlier this month, actor Sharina Clanton posted about her experience on social media, claiming that racism on set was rife. There's something systemic here. There was something fundamentally um, dangerous. That people behind closed doors. Sharina Clanton was hired between October 2020 and March this year to play a guest character. But over the six months, she claimed she saw various forms of racism, including the use of the N-word behind the scenes. Sharina, who has Aboriginal and African American heritage, found the word deeply hurtful. How many times did that happen? Twice. And what happened after the first time? I went straight to the producers, spoke about the, that, the racist terminology and history behind it and the hurt and um, the individual apparently was then put on a warning. I, it, then it happened again. That word was still used and then um, laughed at even further by people who <laughs> thought it OK and appropriate and then to think such a word is funny because it's used in American rap music. Sharina says other staff members retaliated against her for speaking up. The racial subjugation continued. The isolation as a result was really bad. Calling it out left me isolated, bullied, marginalised and I felt lonely and it, no one knows the trauma that racism Im imprints into your soul. And we have to, every day as First Nations peoples, as people of colour, we have to wear armour when we step out outside of our doors. It doesn't just follow us in our workplace. It follows us in the street. And for me, I was not supported. I was treated as the problem. I was told that I didn't know how to take a joke. Another Aboriginal performer, Maine Wyatt, also spoke out. On Twitter, he said he heard the C-word slur. And regular cast member Sharon Johal said a cast member had called her the black one and blackie behind her back and that a now former cast member repeatedly put on an Indian accent in her presence. Sharina Clanton says she noticed a backlash against Sharon for speaking up. Individuals would often call her a C-U-N-T for her raising up the very same issues that I would see. This was said, you to heard me. this? To me. You heard Multiple that Multiple times. Referring to Sharon. Sharon. Correct for calling out racism, for calling out bullying, for calling out harassment, for calling out varying levels of discrimination, that she was nothing but a troublemaker. Monique Gunaratni played Priya Kapoor in the first South Asian family to move into Ramsey Street in 2011. What happened when they announced our casting as main cast, we received a lot of uh, public backlash and racist vitriol from people saying that, you know, we were uh, moving onto the street and taking other people's jobs. Now living and working in Los Angeles, Monique says that at the time she received little support from Neighbours Management. To receive that kind of uh, reaction to our casting, it was it, it cut deep. Apart from you know the expression of oh, I'm sorry that 
that's happened and, you know, are you okay? And which, you know, which they kind of checked in at the start, but because it was a continued thing, it, it just wasn't spoken about. You know, we just didn't, we didn't talk about it. We just ignored it and we moved on. By 2013, the Kapoor family was written out of the show. Sachin Job played the father, AJ. At the end of our one-year contracts, we were terminated. This is after putting in approximately eight to ten months being presented to the public as main casts or regulars, you know, regular um, reoccurring faces on the show. But we were actually guesties. We we're all guest actors. If we had the, uh, the Caucasian blonde hair and blue eyes, I don't think they would have written us out. For Crazy Rich Asian star Remy He, yes. Neighbours helped boost his early career. And while he says he faced no racism on the set, some viewers opposed his brief stint on the show in 2013. Look, they were definitely racial in tone. People just objecting to seeing an Asian face on their screen. Of course it like weighed on me at the time and it, and it, and it felt pretty bad. And did you raise those comments with the producers? No, at the time I didn't. And I've questioned myself about that. I've often asked myself, like, why? And the, the really simple answer was, at the time, I didn't want to be seen as, as rocking the boat. The production company for Neighbours, Fremantle, declined 7.30's interview requests. So too the current executive producer of Neighbours and the show's broadcaster, Network 10. 7.30 put specific allegations to Fremantle, but the company instead offered a statement saying... We remain committed to ensuring a respectful and inclusive workplace for all employees on the set of Neighbours and take very seriously any questions about racism or any other form of discrimination. We are engaging an independent legal investigation to work concurrently with Campfire X's cultural review and hope to work directly with the individuals that have raised concerns, following which we will take whatever next steps are appropriate. If this happened in the United States, you'd expect that people would be fired and that heads would roll. And that reflects how in Australia we still struggle in dealing with allegations of racism. There are many people who think that calling someone racist is a much graver offence than the perpetration of racism itself. Some people might say that this is just a TV show. Why should we care about a TV show? Uh, what would you say to that? Well, it's not just a TV show. It's, it's a workplace. It's a workplace where you have the right to feel safe. This should not be. Fremantle Media has now launched an independent investigation into what you've raised. Um, what are you hoping that investigation will achieve? Reform. Actionable reform and accountability. I want to see action plan. I want to see strategies. I want to see policies. For me, I wanted to say you're not alone. And guess what? It is happening. And you're not crazy. You're not crazy. You're not less than. You have strength. And don't let anyone tell you that your experiences and your truths are invalid. Because you matter. You're human. And don't you dare diminish yourself for anyone. Don't you dare let anyone tell you or think that they have any power to speak untruths to you, to dehumanise you, to devalue you, to think that they have any kind of authority over you. Because guess what? You matter. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.